Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these two right triangles ABD and CBD put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, side length uh, AB is 5 and this uh, side length uh, BC is 1 and uh, this side length uh, CD is M and furthermore, this angle DAB is X and this angle BCD is 4 times X. And now our task is to calculate the value of this M. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and label this height uh, BD as uh, lowercase h. And here's our next step. To make our job easier, I have drawn uh, this auxiliary line uh, DE as you can see over here, such that uh, this angle uh, is congruent to this angle. If this angle is x, uh, this angle is x uh, as well. So therefore, we can see that this uh, triangle AED is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, has got to be equal to this uh, side length. And now let's recall uh, exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here, this is our exterior angle, whereas uh, these are our two opposite interior angles, such that uh, C equals to A plus B. So therefore, in our case, this is going to be our uh, exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. X plus X is going to make uh, 2 times X. And here's our next step. I have drawn another auxiliary line DF as you can see over here, such that uh, this angle is going to be equal to this angle. So I'm going to call this angle uh, 2x uh, as well. Then this uh, triangle uh, EFD is going to be our isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length is going to be equal to this uh, side length. And now let's recall uh, exterior angle uh, theorem once again. According to this theorem, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles 2x plus 2x is going to give us 4 times x. And now let's focus on these two right triangles FBD and this other triangle CBD. This angle is congruent to this angle. This angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees as well and this is our common side. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to angle uh, side angle uh, congruency theorem. So therefore this side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length uh, as well. If this side length uh, is M then this side length uh, FD is going to be M as well and moreover these uh, two side lengths uh, B, C and F, B are congruent as well. If this is 1, this side length F, B has got to be 1 unit as well. And moreover, since these two side lengths uh, are uh, congruent, if this side length is M, then this side length is going to be M as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, A, B is uh, 5 and uh, this uh, side length uh, F, uh, B is uh, 1. So therefore, this side length uh, AF uh, is going to be 5 min minus 1 is going to give us uh, 4. And moreover, we know that this uh, side length uh, EF uh, is uh, M. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, AE has got to be 4 minus uh, M. And now we know that this side length is congruent to this side length. If this side length is 4 minus m, then this side length has got to be 4 minus m as well. 
And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CBD and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this side uh, a this side b and this longest leg side c so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula a in our case one square plus b is h so it's going to become h square equal to m square now let's go ahead and subtract one from both sides this is gone so our h square turns out to be equal to m square minus one let me go ahead and call this equation uh, number uh, one and here's our next step let's uh, focus on another right triangle e b d this time and we know it's uh, this side length uh, e b is going to be sum of these two individual lengths uh, m plus one so that is going to become uh, m plus one the side length of uh, this uh, right triangle are going to be four minus m h and uh, m plus 1 so we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this side a this side b and this longest leg side c so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula a in our case is m plus 1 whole square b is h so it's going to become h square equal to c is 4 minus m whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2 ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this first uh, binomial so therefore we are going to have uh, m square plus uh, 2m plus 1 and then i can write uh, h square equals to and now let's recall another identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2 ab plus b square we are going to apply it on the binomial on the right hand side so therefore this could be written as 16 minus 8m plus m square and now we can see this m square and this m square is gone let's go ahead and move this 2m and 1 on the right hand side so therefore we are going to have a h square equal to 16 minus 8m minus 2m minus 1 so therefore our h square turns out to be equal to 15 minus 10m let me call this our equation number 2 and now let's go ahead and compare equation 2 and equation 1 we can see the left hand side have a h square so we can equate uh, the right hand side as well so therefore we can write uh, m square minus uh, 1 equals to 15 minus uh, 10 m and now let's go ahead and move everything uh, on the left hand side so we got uh, m square minus 1 minus 15 plus uh, 10 m equal to 0 and if we combine the like terms we are going to get uh, m square plus 10 m minus 16 equals to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we will be using here our coefficients are uh, a equals to 1 b equals to 10 and uh, c equals to negative uh, 16 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so this quadratic formula is going to become minus b means negative 10 plus r minus square root of b square means 10 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 16 all over 2 times 1 and now if we simplify everything we ended up with this uh, negative 10 plus or minus square root of uh, 164 all over 2 and now let's focus on this uh, radical part and here i have copied it down square root of 164 now we can see that this uh, could be simplified uh, to 2 times uh, square root of 41 so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this one by 2 times uh, square root of 41 
So therefore, m could be written as negative 10 plus r minus 2 times square root of 41. And here I'm going to write down this 2 separately, divided by 2 over here and divided by 2 over here as partial fractions. And here we can see 10 divided by 2 reduces to 5 and over here 2 and 2 cancels out. So therefore our m value turns out to be negative 5 plus r minus square root of 41. And now let's focus on this negative sign. We are going to discard this negative sign since m is our side length. So that means we are going to keep only this uh, positive sign. So I'm going to write down m equals to, I'm going to write uh, square root of 41 uh, first and then uh, minus uh, 5 and this is our m value. So thus our m value turns out to be square root of 41 uh, minus 5 uh, units and that is going to be approximately equal to 1.4 uh, units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.